Our coverage of mistake of law is not complete until we take note of a peculiar doctrine that is found in federal law. It originated in and is largely confined to criminal prosecutions for federal income tax fraud. The federal income tax code is complicated in no small part because of the numerous loopholes, exclusions, and deductions that have wormed their way into it over the century since it was first enacted. I strongly advise you to take the basic tax course in our elective curriculum before you graduate. Doing so is no guarantee that you won't ever screw up. Timothy Geithner, President Obama's Secretary of the Treasury, and Tom Daschle, President Obama's nominee for Secretary of Health and Human Services, failed to pay federal taxes when due. They were not prosecuted, and the decision in Cheek v. United States helps us understand why not. Cheek was an airline pilot who enrolled in an unaccredited seminar in which he was misinformed about federal law. Cheek learned, for example, that his wages were not income within the meaning of the Internal Revenue Code. Acting on this piece of nonsense, Cheek failed to pay taxes on his income for several years. Moreover, he was instructed that the United States government has no constitutional power to levy taxes on income. At his trial for income tax evasion, Cheek's counsel objected to the judges instructing the jury that only a reasonable mistake could exculpate the defendant, who admittedly knew he wasn't filing a return. Cheek appealed his conviction to the United States Supreme Court. The Supreme Court understood its job to be interpreting what Congress meant by the language of the statute. It focused on the culpability word right there in the statute, willfully. By the word willfully, Congress meant knowingly, according to the court. No surprise here. This is what the Model Penal Code, too, would say. Recall from our earlier cases, such as Kelly, that a mistaken belief need not be reasonable to negate knowledge. The Model Penal Code is in accord. But does the culpability term willfully apply to the existence and meaning of the statute under which Cheek is charged? The Model Penal Code says not, unless the definition of the offense so provides. Does the definition of the, the offense so provide? Not explicitly, but the Supreme Court decides that the statute implicitly provides that culpability as to the applicability of the statute has to be proven. Congress wanted it, even though it did not bother to say so in the statute. Congress wanted it because the tax code is so dang complicated. Let's see how our friends B1 and B2 fare defending tax evasion charges in federal court. Under Cheek, who has a possible mens rea defense? B1 says, my lawyer told me I don't owe any federal tax on that trade. B2 says, yeah, my lawyer told me the tax code is unconstitutional anyway. The answer is B1 only. The Supreme Court in cheek holds that Congress did not intend to allow people with silly ideas about the Constitution to avoid prison. The court only meant to cut slack for people sincerely mistaken about the meaning and applicability of the code itself. By the way, do either B1 or B2 have a possible model penal code affirmative reliance upon official statement defense? The answer is no. The tax lawyer is not an official charged by law with the enforcement or interpretation of the tax code. Cheek's victory in the U.S. Supreme Court 
was not enough. He was convicted on retrial and the Seventh Circuit affirmed. The appeals court approved a trial instruction that told the jury, you may consider whether the defendant's stated belief about the tax statute was reasonable as a factor in deciding whether he held that belief in good faith. To reiterate, an erroneous belief need not be reasonably held in order to negate knowledge. But the unreasonableness of a belief may be considered by the fact finder as evidence that it was not sincerely and honestly held. A jury concluded that Cheek knew full well he owed taxes. Let's try to get all this mistake of law stuff into a nutshell. Under the common law and the model penal code, a mistake of law is relevant to negate required culpability as to any element determined by other law. Under the model penal code only, an affirmative defense of reasonable reliance on official statement later invalidated of the law defining the offense is recognized. And finally, under federal law, the word willfully, Congress might mean violation of a known legal duty under some complex statutes like the Internal Revenue Code.